Hello, this is Mrs. Ross, and this is uh, Module 2, Motion in a Plane Test Review. We did some of this yesterday in our uh, live lesson. I did figure out how to do this one. So let me go ahead and show you how this one is done. And then I'll go through the rest. So uh, let's see. Oh, let me make this like this. Sorry, you can... Uh, you can make this go 1.5 speed if you need to. So we're given that a projectile is fired. The initial components are uh, V initial in the X direction is 310. And V initial in the Y direction is negative 26 meters per second. Um, we're also, also given what I call H. It's also Y, which is 20 meters. Um, probably negative 20 when we plug it in due to uh, the direction that it's going. So we're looking for V of X at, no, we're not. My bad. Hold on. Let me erase that. We're just looking for X. So we have X, which is right here. Solution. I was on the right track. So... We have this formula, x is equal to x0. This is one of our kinematic formulas, plus vo x times time plus one half at squared. Okay, um, we're used to that. So what we're gonna do, our first step, is we're gonna translate this to y. y is equal to yo plus vo, or vo y plus one half g t squared. Okay, so our y o is actually zero. That's what it says right there. Um, so our y, the distance here, is negative 20, which is equal to negative 26. That's from our uh, given times t plus one half Gravity is also going to be negative t squared. Okay, so let me make this something that we can plug into Desmos. So if I do zero and I do negative 4.9 t squared minus 26 t plus 20, and I plug that into Desmos or into a graphing calculator, I solve for t and I get t is equal to 5.99 seconds. I'm going to change colors. So step two is using this formula. Okay, so we have x is equal to xo plus vo xt plus one half at squared. In the x direction, in the x direction, Acceleration is nothing when it comes to projectile motion, okay? And then also, our initial is zero. So that's going to get rid of this term and this term. So we have x is equal to vox times t. So vox is 310. Our time is 5.99. And when we multiply those, we get 1856.2 meters. You'll see there's only a couple of meters and then everything's in kilometers. So if I um, convert, so I divide by a thousand, because a thousand meters is equal to one kilometer, I get 1.856 kilometers, which is equal to 1.9 kilometers, which is this one. Okay, let's move on. I think we stopped on nine let's go to nine eight nine okay so this one's a little bit long so what i did was i said all right find one find components of b so i know that the cosine of 33 is equal to bx over 5.6. 
I know that the sine of 33 is equal to by over 5.6. So bx is, uh, since it's in the negative direction, it's negative 4.69. And by is also in the negative direction. So it's negative 3.04. Okay, to find components of C. So we have the cosine of 22 is equal to Cx over 4.8, and the sine of 22 is equal to Cy over 4.8. Cx is equal to... 4.5. We know that's positive because it's on the positive x-axis. And cy is going to be negative, which is 1.79. Okay, now I need more room, so I'm going to erase step one. Okay, let me find another color for our pen. Let me move it to green. Okay, so this is step three. So we found the components of B and C. Now we're going to add them. So we have BX plus CX is equal to, and if you have this written down from before, you'll see that BX is negative 4.69 and CX is 4.45, which is equal to negative 0.24. And then BY plus CY is equal to negative 3.04 plus 1.79, which is negative 1.25. So both of these are negative. So if we go through the quadrants, one, two, three, four, the only quadrant where both of these are negative would be the third quadrant. X is negative and Y is negative. So that's gonna be three. Okay. So this is what I did for this one. Uh, first, I like to draw it. So you walk north, 51, and then you, uh, it says turn 30 degrees to your right. So I assumed that was this, was 30 degrees. And you walk another 45. And it wants to know the resultant, which would be do, do, do that, okay? Um, so what I did was I found, let's see, I made this A, this vector A, and I made this vector B. And I said, all right, the cosine of 30, oh, and this is where it's kind of opposite because it's not, it's not this angle, it's that angle. So. Do, 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 do. So cosine of 30 is going to be by, because this is y, this is x, over 45. By is equal to 38.97. And then I did the sine of 30. Okay. And then I did the... Um, so my y direction is going to be 51 plus 38.97, which is uh, 89.97. My x direction is just the 22.5. So if I do the resultant is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. 22.5 squared plus 89.97 squared. I end up with 92.7 meters, which is 93. Okay, 11. Okay, that's going to take a minute. Go to 12. Hold on. Okay, we're going to skip 11 for right now. Um, it says, what is the angle measured counterclockwise from the x vector? 
So what we have, um, we have a positive 6.1 and a negative 8.6. So something to this effect, right? This is A. Um, and this is 6.1 and this is 8.6. Okay, so this is, what I'm gonna end up doing is finding this and then the answer to this is gonna be this because it's counterclockwise, which is against the clock. So this way from the X axis, this is X. So to find this, I know that the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So theta is the inverse tangent, and this is in Desmos, it's also in graphing calculators, that's an eight, 6.1. So theta is equal to 54.65. That's this theta. What I have to do then is I have to take 360 and subtract, and I get 305, which is this one. Okay. Um, so this is another one. Uh, we had one like this and we did it very similarly. So this is 51 meters and then we turned. So this is 60. So this is going to be my X and my Y. Um, and this is 45 and we're looking for the resultant. Man, my drawing is awful. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with this because we're going to take, this is actually the law of signs. Um, we're going to take 51 squared plus 45 squared plus 2 times 51 times 45 times the cosine of 60. Let me see if I can find the law of cosines so that that makes sense to you guys. which is going to be this one. But I am running out of time, so... Okay, so this is the range formula. And range formula is V squared sine 2 theta. So whenever it says maximum horizontal distance, I would use this. Or you can always use your X is equal to XO plus VOT plus 1 half gt squared um, or v acceleration squared that would be acceleration okay so this is 7.76 which we have from our here sine two times it says regardless of the angle so i'm going to use 45 degrees just um, because i know that and i don't know why i know this but i know that 45 degrees normally gives us our maximum and then G is 9.81. So when I pop in 45 degrees, I get 6.13, which gives me this. And then the last one. Um, so what I did here, it says you walk three meters straight and then you turn and you walk three meters and then you turn and you walk three meters. Um, so what you have is each of these is 60, right? So what I did was I said, all right, for you to get all the way back to here, um, you would have to go 360 degrees. So 360 divided by 60 is six, which gives me a hexagon. And it's a regular hexagon because every side is gonna be the same and every angle is gonna be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and post this and we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions.